Hi everyone and welcome to my class. Today we are going to do a genetic cross with blood types. Right, so before we can do a genetic cross, we have to quickly have a look at different blood types and uh, what their genotypes look like again. So as you can remember, we've got four different blood types. We've got blood type A, B, AB and O. Now, uh, blood type A will have to have one dominant allele and then either another dominant allele or it can be heterozygous, which means it will have a dominant allele and one recessive allele. Now the same thing with blood type B, so it can either be homozygous, a homo, homozygous dominant or it can be heterozygous and then it looks like that. Now, things become really interesting here with blood type AB, where we will have an A and a B. And remember, this is an example of codominance, because we see both alleles being expressed in the phenotype. And then blood type O will be our homozygous recessive blood type. So now that we've got that, we can have a look at a genetic cross. So in this genetic cross, we have a man that is heterozygous for bl blood type A, and he marries a woman who has blood type O. And they say use a genetic cross to show the phenotypic ratio of the offspring. Right, so let's start with the stuff that we know we have. Okay, so we always start with P1, and later on we're going to write F1, because that is worth a mark. And we always start with what do they look like. So we're going to start with the phenotype okay and we have a type A that is the man who got married to a type O because this is not an X-linked disease we don't or we don't need to know which one's the male and which one's the female okay then we move on to genotype and genotype now because they said heterozygous for blood group A that means that we definitely know there's a capital letter in there, but because it's heterozygous, the two alleles are not the same. That means that the second one cannot be a capital I as well. Okay? And remember to make that little A in this place, you would make an exponent when you were doing math. Then blood type O, as we've seen, can only be two little small alleles. Right. So now we have to have a look at what gametes are being produced. Now this one over here can produce two types of gametes and this one over here can produce only one type of gamete but we are writing down both of them in any case. And the process by which this is being done is, you guessed it, meiosis. Okay, now that we have the alleles, now in the gametes, now we can draw a Panna diagram which I'm going to be drawing freehand but you are going to do everybody in the exam a favor and draw this using a ruler, please. Okay, so first parent goes over there. Second parent goes over there. And then comes the fun part where we just put the alleles together. Okay, so one allele from there and that allele from there and there where they cross, we put the two together. And remember, it's always capital letters first and in alphabetical order. Right, and this putting together process is called fertilization. Fertilization, there we go. Right, and that means we are now in the F1 generation. Okay, now in the F1 generation, we have two types in the genotype. Now they don't actually ask for the genotype here, but you know, my paranoia always makes me write them down. So there's my genotypes. And remember to make sure you separate the two offspring with something like a semicolon or a colon or a big space. So you make it clear that they're not actually together, but that these are together. Okay. And then if we have a look at the phenotype, that means we will have a type A and we will have a type B. O, and since there's one, two type A's, and there's one, two t 
type O's. And remember, we never leave a ratio like that. We always simplify the ratio. Right, let's quickly have a look at where you would get marks. Okay, so the easy marks are P1 and F1. Those are always worth the mark, okay, as well as meiosis and fertilization. Now, you'll see if you work through old question papers, they put the brackets in. You don't have to put the brackets in. As you can see, the brackets are in red. That is the job of the examiner. Okay, then we also always want to know what is the genotype and what is the phenotype. Okay, then you can get a mark for gametes either here or you can get a go mark for the gametes in your planet diagram. Okay, and then for your offspring, have a look. There's our gam uh, genotype of our offspring. We can either give the mark there or we can give the mark over here. And then definitely one mark for the phenotype as well as the ratio. Now, this question is usually a maximum of six marks, but you'll see here there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven places where you can get marks. Don't worry, they're not going to give you seven marks, okay? But they're going to stop marking at six, but at least you know all of the places where you can get marks. Good luck!